is Gary Helwig, and this is uh, Suzanne Helwig. Suzanne is the uh, critical director here. I wouldn't necessarily say that, but that's okay. <laughs> go on. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the skills cutting, straightening, and bending wire. When we first started, uh, the way we would start a project would be to measure the wire, to cut the wire, and then to straighten the wire. And what we found over time is that it, it's a lot easier to straighten the wire first uh, before you remove it for this, from the spool. And the reason for that is, is uh, if I were to cut this piece of wire, you could see that it would be very, very hard for me to hold on to the wire. Uh, but if I put, use our tools to straighten it while it's still attached to the spool, you can see that it's very easy to straighten the wire. But, and what's While the reason attached. that we want to even work with straight wire in the first place? Uh, very good question. The reason that straight wire is important is that if your wire is bent when you start your project, it's going to be bent in the middle of your jewelry component. And if it's straight, it'll be straight in the middle of your jewelry component. So it's very important that you start with straight wire and you keep your wire straight as you're working with it. And your wire right now, you may not see it from your angle, but it's still got a little bit of a bend in it. You might want to run the thing. But well, the, what the tool, you might explain what the tool is too that you're using. Uh, the tool that we're using to straighten the wire is nylon jaw pliers. And you can see our nylon jaw pliers here. And the best way that we've found for straightening the wire is to squeeze the wire in the jaws of your nylon jaw pliers and then just pull it through your pliers just like that and you want to do that over and over again and each time you do it it'll harden the wire just a little bit so and again what's wire hardening if you're new to wire what does that mean uh, the hardening the wire means that the wire will be slightly stiffer and more springy than it was before you straightened it so you can see that you know, so it's not as soft and easy to bend it's not as saying. soft and easy Got to bend it. so uh, so we've straightened a segment of wire here and Again, we've used the nylon jaw pliers to straighten the segment of wire. That tends to work best in almost all cases. But there is another way to straighten the wire, and we'll just show you what it is. You can pull the wire through your fingers Great like that idea. to straighten it. And uh, here's a quiz. Why is it you don't want to pull the wire through your fingers like that? <laughs> Why? Because if you do it often enough, you'll end up with bruises on the end of your fingers. Good point. You'd rather have the bruises on your nylon jaw pliers than the bruises on your fingers. So the first step in any jewelry project is to straighten the wire. The next step is going to be to measure a segment of wire. And I'm just going to measure a two inch segment of here of wire. So I get my ruler, I measure two inches, and now I'm going to cut the wire. And now cutting the wire, uh, you might think it's just simple and straightforward that I just want to cut the wire just like that. Well, the one thing you have to understand about cutting the wire is the jewelry wire cutters come with two sides. They come with a flat side, like this, and a beveled side, and, like this. And Gary, hold that sort of sideways, too, so they see all the orientations. Uh, keep going around a little bit now. There you go. So there's the flat side and the The beveled side. side? Yeah, beveled and, and flat. And the flat side. And the flat side will cut the wire and leave a flush cut or a flat cut on the end of the wire. The beveled side will cut wire and leave a sharp end on the wire. So when we cut the, this piece of wire here, this is the flat side, this end of the wire is going to be the flush end or the flat end, and this end of the wire is going to be the sharp end or the pointed end. And usually the pointed end here we want to have end up in the trash can. Now one thing I did when I, cut, when I cut the wire, if you'll notice, I cut the wire holding on to the loose piece of wire at the end uh, so that it didn't fly away. And there's an important reason for that. It's not that I don't want to bend down and pick it up, it's that if I cut the wire and let it fly, it might fly away and hit someone else in the room, poke them in the eye, something bad like that. Okay, so why don't you just take a piece of wire and cut it without holding it? So you Piece of wire and cut it yeah, without holding. Yeah, just cut it and see how it does. You, see, you, you see how that flies away. That's what you don't want to have happen because uh, just imagine if the sharp side of this piece of wire were to end up in your eye, it would ruin your day. So that's why it's a good practice when you're cutting wire 
to hold on to both ends of the piece of wire just like that. Now, uh, with this piece of wire, we have the flush cut from my prior cut and the sharp cut from the current cut. And I have a flush cut here on the spool. So when I cut a piece of wire, I always leave the flush cut on the spool. That way, when I go to grab a piece of wire, I'm not going to be stabbed by a sharp end oh, of the that's wire. A, that's a great idea. So, I don't do that, and I should. Yeah, a good technique. Leave the flush cut on the spool, and you'll always know the flush cut is the first end, and the sharp cut is the second good idea. end. Now, for the uh, next technique, and again, we use the flush cutter for that. For the next technique that we're going to discuss, we're going to discuss bending wire. And bending wire, all you need to do in order to bend wire is grab the wire in your pliers. In this case, I'm going to measure a one inch segment of wire. I'm going to grab the wire in my pliers. And you want to use chain nose or bent chain nose pliers. These pliers are bent chain nose. They have, the jaws are flat and smooth inside but you can see that the jaws are bent. And the reason that these are very good is the jaws are bent and my wrist is straight. So we like to use the bent uh, chain nose pliers to so, straighten wire. And the importance of your wrist being straight is that it's easier on your wrist? It's easier on my wrist. I see. So uh, I've got my piece of wire here. In order to bend this wire and I want to make a 90 degree bend in the wire, I just push it with my finger, with my thumb, until I have a 90 degree bend. And you can see how that looks right there. And put it down wire. on the paper so you can see it without the uh, pliers in the way. Nice. Now, we showed you the bent chain nose pliers. These are regular chain nose pliers, and they have flat, smooth jaws. And the reason the flat, smooth jaws are important is they spread the gripping force around over a larger area, so it marks the wire less that way. So, again... Well, what, but generally, once you get used to them, you don't mark the wire at all. Uh, if you if it, you won't be able to perceive the marks on the wire with right. bent chain nose pliers, I mean. other pliers will mark the wire, and well, you will noticeable. see the wire. Yeah. With these pliers, you know they they yeah. don't leave noticeable marks on the wire. And so the, and the importance is is to practice because it does take a little bit of practice to know how hard to hold the plier jaws together. That's true. Now. Uh, that's the three topics that we wanted to discuss in this video. What, what we did discuss is uh, straightening the wire using nylon jaw pliers, just like that. Cutting the wire, and so we measure and cut, and we're gonna leave the flat side of the pliers towards the spool because that's gonna leave a flat cut on the spool. And this is the flat cut from our prior cut, and we're gonna hold both pieces of wire and we're going to cut the wire and we end up with a flat cut on one end and a sharp cut on the other and in general you want the flat cut to end up on your piece of jewelry and the sharp end to end up in the trash can when you're done with your project. But also you could just cut it off right now and have both ends flat if you're worried about cutting your finger while you're doing the... I could cut it yeah. off right just like that. And again, I cover the end of the plier so that that cut doesn't, doesn't fly, fly away. Uh, so that's cutting wire. And then the last thing we talked about is using chain nose or bent chain nose pliers to grip the wire, to hold the wire, and to bend the wire. So those are the three skills. And we hope you've enjoyed our first wig jig jewelry making skills video. Thank you, dear. Great job.